Hey, uh, I just wanted to give a bit of a shout out to something really interesting uh, and I think quite innovative. Every now and then something good comes along and you think, gee, why wasn't that done before? And boy, you know, working with resins and composites, I've had one of those moments with this little guy here. Uh, Bio epoxy is its common generic name. It's derived from canola oil. So it started life as a crop in the ground and it has a very benign a catalyst which sort of smells like ammonia a little bit anyway the point is that unlike polyester resins which release massive amounts of volatile styrene this little guy here releases nothing there is no smell to speak of at all it's literally almost unnoticeable people have walked in and said i can't smell a thing and that is a marked difference from any time we've been using vinyl esters or polyesters. Uh, even Builder's Bog, you know, the typical ubiquitous fill, uh, releases the styrenes. This stuff, no, fantastic. Uh, quite viscous, the resin. The hardener's uh, really very, very runny indeed. Um, so they start off a little bit different and the mixing happens quite easily. And, and we just use one of these little digital scales, very accurate. Uh, the mixing ratios are, are given and, and you can mix it in your ubiquitous ice cream container if there's quite a lot of smaller quantities. Oh, another little shout out to some of the best yogurt going, Tomar Valley from Tasmania. Um, they're really good containers and it's not just because it's a good container, I really like the yogurt. Anyway, it comes from ATL Composites, not the yogurt, the resin, from ATL Composites on the Gold Coast. Uh, who have all sorts of good gear that we've been using on Bruce, Bruce the, uh, the Sprinter motorhome job. Um, they produce the composite panels that we're using with the flax reinforcing instead of fiberglass and the end grain balsa core instead of PVC foam. Anyway, they send this stuff down on demand. They even package it in a cardboard box with corn flour packaging instead of polystyrene. I mean, it's so good you can almost eat it. So there's that and lots of other good stuff besides. So uh, yeah, have a look for that. Give it a try. Uh, it is more expensive than the, the polyester resins. That's probably an issue of round scale of production more than anything else. So the more we use, the cheaper it'll get. And of course it's grown, it's fully organic instead of being derived from a fossil fuel. Yay, gotta love that. See you soon.